Ladies and gentlemen, this is the revolutionary. Once again, coming to you live somewhere from New York City in my own home. And I heard uh, some very ridiculous news over the weekend of Kendu the Clown Isaacs. Now, a lot of you may recognize the name. He was the man that was married to Mary J. Blige. He's the one that took advantage of her, and she eventually divorced him. He used this woman. He was her manager, I believe. Used her for her money. I believe they have a child together. And apparently he is claiming now that the divorce put him in the hospital for undue stress and emotional damage. But he's the one that caused the divorce to happen in the first place because he took advantage of that woman that cared for him. And I'm going to tell you like this. I've always listened to Mary J. Blige's music. I think she's one of the most beautiful women in the world. There's many beautiful black women I've seen that are singers. Whitney Houston is one of them that I talked about the other day. But I don't understand why he'd want to take advantage of her. I understand she has money, but Mary J. Blige is a beautiful woman. I understand you're not going to get along every single time. There's going to be some arguments here and there. But the fact that he took advantage of this woman, and then he has the nerve to put a claim against her and then say that she is the reason that he is in the hospital the divorce is what put him in the hospital he put himself in the hospital with what he's done when he's done to her and speaking of divorces we also have jennifer hudson and her former fiance known as david atunga getting into a custody battle now over their child now you know they were in an 11 year i believe a 10 or 11 year um relationship they were supposed to get married but it never happened and apparently she had been cheating on him. I don't know if this is true or not. And she also has said that he had became violent and that she feared for her life. She's in constant fear. I believe she got a restraining order against this man. Now David Otonga is dragging Jennifer Hudson's sister into this court case. It's just getting dirty. It's really getting dirty. If you don't want to be with somebody, you should not have a child with them because... Once you have a child with somebody, you're going to be linked to them forever. And before I go on, ladies and gentlemen, I was so happy this weekend after working my ass off so hard that I finally picked up my copy of, yes, The Avengers Infinity War. I've already watched it once, so I'm about to watch it again. The movie is just that damn good. Black Panther's great. Uh, Thor Ragnarok is great. I love all the Marvel movies. I'm a big Marvel fan. I love the movies. They're, they're great. But this movie right here, seeing this thing on Blu-ray, seeing this thing on HD, and having my surround sound Blu-ray play at its maximum with all the bass coming out, I feel like I'm just in the theater. Like I'm just right sitting there in the theater. So put that on the bed right there. So, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of things going on over the weekend. Not really much to report about. But I found it funny that Kendu Isaacs thought, you know, thought to say that the, the divorce caused him emotional stress. What I th What I'm thinking is... Maybe he wants to get back with Mary J. Blige, and he's hurt now because he screwed up. I have no idea. But it's just really stupid that people get with people, and they take advantage of them. It happens a lot, I understand, but it's still, it's never good when it happens at all. I hope everybody out there is doing well. There are a lot of stories that I covered without getting in the camera, but um, as I said before, we do need black media. We definitely need black media because... There are too many of these um, television shows and movies coming out that are made by the dominant, so-called dominant society that are erasing us. They are putting people that look like us but are not really us in front of the camera. And they're pretty much slowly but surely pushing us out of the picture, so to speak, for good. And I don't like that because we've always been represented on television, whether it be good or bad. But we've always seen a portrayal of the black family. Nowadays, it's very hard to see a betrayal of the black family because they're trying to completely erase the black family from existence on television. Can you think of one show besides Blackish that actually has a black family prominently on television? And even then, some people say that that show is not that great. Okay? I'm just saying, throwing it out there. Anyway, guys, I'm going to be back. You'll see the revolutionary again with the revolutionary mind, the one that talks about black issues and everything. But this is a little quick news update, okay? And of course, the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, has passed. Dear sister, please rest in power. We'll always have your music and we'll always have you in our hearts. And we thank you for the wonderful music that you gave us and for the wonderful memories that we will continue to have and hold. 
I'll see you guys next time. Take care of each other. And as always, please be safe.